Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Convedit uh, sponsored board. And today we're going to be talking about the future of industrial manufacturing. And with me today, I have Brandon Conover, who is a CTO and VP of Business Development at Bennett Aerospace. And today we're going to be talking specifically about AI and machine learning implications for manufacturing. Brandon, I'm going to turn it over to you. Would you like to introduce yourself and the panelists as well as the theme that you've been working on? Certainly. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, as you said, uh, my name is Brandon Conover, and I've been working in uh, commercial and defense industry sectors going on to about 10 years now, and been focused in many different uh, technology spaces. I've certainly been involved in manufacturing, specifically advanced manufacturing techniques. So this board uh, has been an excellent fit. I've been able to bring some of my training and experience to the panel, but also have learned quite a bit in the process as well. The panelists have been excellent from the start. I think we've been doing this since about September. And so if you take a look at some of the panelists, we have folks from many different industries and also from academia. So we've had folks that have contributed from an operations perspective, from a technology perspective, from a software perspective. And what's been really good about the makeup of the board over time is having that uh, excellent back and forth from really different viewpoints. So I've really enjoyed the conversations around such future topics that we'll be talking about today, like tagging within artificial intelligence and machine learning. The conversations have really been everywhere from blue sky, like what could be the case for the next 10 years, uh, all the way to, no, these technologies are really seeing light of day now. And this is how it's going to impact industrial manufacturing in the near term as well. From a prior theme, we had pretty much all agreed that AI and machine learning depends on training and tagging to do work well. You have to teach the system what it's looking for. And traditionally, how that's been done is by human interaction. Humans have to tag elements of data to teach the machine what to do next. And to this point, it's come a long way, but it's still pretty time consuming. So we wanted to say, all right, so based on the use of AI and machine learning for manufacturing, how could we potentially reduce the time it takes, reduce the data load, and still get good results? Some of the points that we discussed over the time was how can we aggregate group thinking? So that is to say improving collaboration. Another topic we discussed was automated content classification. So if we can teach the machine how to teach itself, that could be a way to reduce the data-heavy and time-consuming work that humans have to do. And we also talked about tagging at the source of data creation rather than after the fact. So instead of trying to aggregate a bunch of data at the, at the end of a week or at the end of a day or well after the data is created and having to go back through and comb through it, uh, how can we tag the data as soon as it's seen, as soon as it's gathered? And then finally, within the summary there, improved classification through data aggregation and computer supervision. So this is almost a play on the second point of how to let the machine, let the computer do its own tagging. So if we can create classifications of data, then we can allow the computer to do its own data aggregation. That process would still be supervised by a person. But now instead of the person manually clicking or tagging the data, the person is simply ensuring through a spot check or some sort of uh, QA, QC process that the, the computer, the machine is making the right choices. So these were really the topics and some of the outcomes the group discussed. So a key point of content classification can speed up the, the data tagging process. We talked a lot about the outcome of content classification. Why is it being done? And is there anything that can be gleaned from that beyond speed? And I think as we, we went through the topic, a couple of folks said, well, yes, there is something more than a speed up that you can get. And it, what we really want out of AI and machine learning is to have a system, have a computer, have a machine, do more than the human mind could do. So if we put our understanding of content and data into the machine and say, okay, this is your training protocol, now go forth, there could really be a, a value add here. Key point number two, we agreed that creating tags early can improve accuracy and efficiency. So this reduces error. So the quicker you can tag and classify data, 
the less the likelihood is for errors being introduced after the fact or if there's some sort of bias uh, that might be introduced after the fact. We also agreed that uh, we should not wait for data to age, that the machine learning process is improved the quicker that accurate data is given to it. So if you wait a week and say, okay, here's the data from last week, we've tagged and classified it, well, other things may have already occurred that now make that data obsolete. Key point number three here that we've identified that data tagging should not be overlooked. So I think everyone agreed that AI and machine learning is not going to become more advanced until the data tagging process is improved. Anytime you have a system where humans create a bottleneck, you risk not advancing that technology. Uh, you have to remove humans and the time-consuming process that humans take, you have to remove that from the system. Part of the issue with that, though, is trust. And we agreed that until we have uh, excellent trust of our systems to do that, then supervision is still going to be necessary. What we've done here is we're removing the main time-consuming human element by allowing the machines to do more on their own but we're keeping the human element of supervision to ensure that the machines are trustworthy, but also advancing to the point where they can make decisions on their own. Wonderful. I'm also very excited about uh, discussing the priority map. So this priority map has been throughout all of the themes. So how is this uh, transformed over the theme learnings? I think as the participants have gained more insight from their fellow board members. They're seeing what's going on outside of their own bubble, as it were, in other industries, and what components within those other industries can I bring into my own line of thinking that it might morph. So we've certainly agreed that critical opportunities exist, and industrial manufacturing companies need to be investing in certain areas to not just be relevant, but to remain within existence at all uh, within the, the new industrial manufacturing landscape. We've talked, I think, throughout the board about the customer aspect. Customers like to have things quicker, cheaper, better. We look at each of the, the technology areas that we've talked about from a standpoint of cost and benefit, and I really don't think that's changed. Now, that's been the number one from the start. Where we've shifted a little bit is the importance of everything else and where everything else falls in the line of priorities. Should companies invest more in additive manufacturing as opposed to AI and deep learning processes? Should they focus more on talent acquisition and training or trying to move operations overseas or in different countries? A lot of these topics at the core are no different than the questions that manufacturers have been wrestling with for 100 years. But now there's a lot more expensive and innovative and productive technologies at play. And I think that we've provided a lot of opinions and analysis around that as well. So it's, that's been fun to watch. Excellent. Brandon, thank you again for your fantastic facilitation and putting together a, uh, a really accomplished board that's helping you through this journey. Well, I appreciate that. You're very welcome. It's, uh, it's been fun, and there's an excellent uh, group of people that have, have really made all of the exciting contributions uh, over these 12 themes.